Hello and welcome to Leslie's Love and Oven. I'm Leslie and today we are absolutely ready for some fall baking. We recently spent the afternoon apple picking with our families and needless to say we left with armfuls of apples. So today I'm going to show you how to transform them into delicious cozy mini apple pies in puff pastry crust. Let's review the ingredients we'll need to make today's recipe. So we're going to use about three to four pounds of apples. In my basket here I have a variety of apples from our apple picking that includes some Cortland, some John and Mac, some Gala, but you can use whatever variety you have on hand. We're also going to use a little bit of butter, a couple squeezes of lemon juice, some warm and cozy spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, a little bit of granulated sugar, vanilla, and of course our puff pastry. Okay, and that's the last of our apples. So I've diced the apples, uh, about six cups here in this bowl, into a nice cube sized dice, and that'll make for a chunky filling, and now we're gonna add some of our spices. I've also preheated the oven to 400 degrees. Uh, that's a typical temperature for puff pastry, so you want to follow the directions on the package. Okay, time to add the spices. So I transferred the apples to a little bit larger of a bowl, and to this we're going to add a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Just sprinkle over the top. Uh, there we go, that's a half a teaspoon. This is a little bit smaller of a measuring spoon. And to that we're going to add a little less than a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves and also a little bit of nutmeg, a fourth of a teaspoon. There it goes. And to that I like to add a couple of tablespoons of granulated sugar. Uh, depending on how sweet the apples are, I generally start with uh, about three or four tablespoons just to kind of mix it in there and then give it a taste to see if you need to add any more sweetness. And then I also like to add one teaspoon of good vanilla. So I'm going to pour that in. Mmm, this smells great. And then of course a good squeeze of fresh lemon juice right over the top. There we go and give that a good mix all the way to the bottom and that looks great mm, I can smell the vanilla the cinnamon I love the chunkiness of the apples this is going to be a delicious filling okay and I think I might add even a little more cinnamon just to coat make sure all of the apples are coated so maybe another fourth of a teaspoon. There we go. Okay. So when I make this recipe, I like to saute the apples for about five to eight minutes in a large skillet with a couple of tablespoons of butter. So we're going to do that next and then I'll show you how to fill the puff pastry crust. Okay, so the, bu the butter is bubbling, and now I'm going to add in all of the apples and let them saute for about five to eight minutes, just till they're slightly softened. 
Well, to this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch, and this will help to thicken up our filling. If you don't use cornstarch, you could also use some flour, and you can hear the apples simmering. And the reason I do this is to thicken up the filling, and that gives it a nice shape in the puff pastry. So after about eight minutes, this is what it's going to look like. You can see it's bubbling up a little bit. The sugar is caramelizing over the apples. The spices are really well mixed in there. And we'll turn this off now so we can work on the puff pastry. But this is what you're looking for. So I open the puff pastry and it comes in two panels. Uh, they unfold like this. And what I did was I rolled out one of them and just rolled it out so it was just a tiny bit thinner and it's easy to just score right down the sides when you have a piece like this and then I like to cut it going across and this will become the the base for our our pies so you'll have six little squares and I do use a mini pie pan but if you don't have one of those you could also use a jumbo muffin pan Okay, so now I'm going to take my little square of puff pastry and just gently set it in each center of the pie pan, like so. Sometimes I stretch it just a little bit so that it fits right in the center and it's going to hold all of that delicious pie filling. If you need to, you might want to roll one out if it's a little more rectangular just to get it a little bit square. But you do want to work with this when it's cold. Uh, once it becomes too warm, if your kitchen is warm, it's a little harder to work with. But that's a great size square right there, and you can see it just fits in there perfectly. So that's what you're looking for. So now time to fill these up. Look how thick and wonderful our pie filling is looking. I'm going to put a generous spoon or two in the center just right up to the side and there's another one okay so just to kind of go right in the center but leave some of the sides showing so that that will encase the pie filling there we go okay and then i'm going to show you how i like to embellish the top a little bit before we pop these into the oven Okay, and with some extra puff pastry, sometimes I like to take a little cookie cutter, like an apple or a leaf, and just cut out a little extra puff pastry to put on top to make it look extra special. Okay, so I, I decided to use the little apple cookie cutter, and now I'm going to just place those right over the top, and these will also puff up. And there's the last two. So then I like to take a little bit of egg wash, which is a little beaten egg, and brush that right over the top to give it a little extra golden color. And sometimes I'll do just a little bit on the sides. And these will bake for about 20 to 22 minutes, depending on your oven. You'll know they're done because they'll puff up and they'll be a, a delicious looking golden brown color on the sides. Okay, so just a sprinkle of sugar on the little apples and then these are ready to go in. So here they are after 22 minutes. This is what it looks like. They look gorgeous. I love how you can see the layers of the puff pastry as it puffed up, but you can still see the, the center where the filling is and it just, it smells amazing. Time to taste. Okay, so I just stuck my fork in there and I could hear the crunch of the puff pastry and I see the oozing apple center filling. Oh, it's still a little warm. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. That is something to absolutely celebrate this fall. Wow, that is delicious. I love the taste of the cinnamon with the butter. 
the crunchiness of the puff pastry, the delicateness of it, the aroma, it's just wonderful. I hope you have a chance to try this recipe and share it with your family. For the exact recipe and all the instructions, please visit us at lesliesloveandoven.com. And until next time, bon appetit. Thank you.